Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidForums.net. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the uh, latest leak of the official Jelly Bean for the Razer HD. Now, it does not require you to be rooted. We're simply going to flash in update.zip. Uh, so what you want to do is head to the link in the description and grab that update.zip file. First of all, I just want to show you guys that I am running the stock version of Ice Cream Sandwich. So we'll go to Settings and About Phone. And you'll see here the Android version is 4.0.4. .4. Uh, so very quickly, what we'll do is we'll head to the files where we downloaded our update.zip. It should be in the download folder. You want to hold that and move that. Select the SD card and go ahead and move it there. Now this is going to take a few minutes to transfer and you really will need an external SD card. Um, you can take the one out of your old Droid 4, your old Droid Razor, uh, your old Droid Bionic and throw it in here. Uh, or if you don't have a micro SD card, you may have to pick one up off of eBay. They're pretty cheap and you don't need a ton of storage. You know, uh, probably no more than a few gigabytes to do what you have to do with updates. Okay, so once the file is transferred, if you have root and you want to keep root, you're going to need the uh, Voodoo over the air root keeper application to back up your root so that you can restore it after the update. Dan Rosenberg's root method does not work on the leaked version of Jelly Bean. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open up the Voodoo over the air root keeper and we'll allow super user access. We'll go ahead and protect root and then we will temp unroot to keep the backup. From there, we're just going to power off the phone and boot into recovery mode. Uh, now, whenever we boot into recovery mode, we're just going to hold the volume buttons and the power button. When the menu pops up, you're going to want to scroll down, hitting the volume down arrow, and then select with the volume up. You want to do this quickly because you only have about two seconds to make your selection. So be very quick and deliberate when you do this. We're going to hold both volume buttons and the power button. As soon as it comes up, we're going to go to recovery and select the up volume up to select. And as soon as the little Android guy pops up, we're going to hit both volume buttons to bring up the menu in recovery. Okay, so here we are. We'll go ahead and select both volume buttons. And from there, we're going to go to apply from external storage. Okay, so we'll just use the power button to select. And then we'll go to the blur version uh, 0.7.2. And we'll go ahead and select that. And that's going to apply our update. So this will take up to 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pause here. And as soon as this finishes, uh, we'll come back and finish out the tutorial. All right, guys, so I ran into a little bit of an issue. Uh, it failed to install the update because I had SBF back to stock ICS after running the Jelly Bean official ICS leak. Now, I'd previously been on the leak. And then I restored back to Ice Cream Sandwich so that I could show you guys how to update to the Jelly Bean leak. I got excited the other night when it came out and I just I instantly updated. I was like, oh, you know, I should show these guys how to do it. So I went back to the Ice Cream Sandwich and I forgot to apply. There was one little update that Verizon pushed out. Uh, and it, I guess it was a little bug fixer. And so anyways, make sure that you go to settings, about phone, and apply that little minor update before you do flash this jelly bean leak otherwise it won't work uh, but this time it should work everything looks fine it's it's actually gone further this time so i know it's going to work this time uh, but anyways that's just a little tip so that you don't run into the same mistake that i did earlier okay so when it finishes uh, you'll see where it says install from sd card complete at that point you will just reboot the system and one way you'll know if it worked is the boot animation is not going to have any sound unfortunately um, still the same boot animation, just no sound. As soon as it does boot up, we're going to uh, go to the root checker, or we'll go to the Voodoo over there root keeper app, and we'll go ahead and restore root and then check root. And I'll show you guys the new version that we're on. Okay, for some reason, we do have sound on the boot animation. The last time I flashed the leak, there was no sound on the boot animation, so that's a little strange. Now, just flashing the leak will not wipe your data. So unless you uh, wipe data on your own, you'll have all your same user data. All your apps will still be available 
and uh, everything should be the same contacts, messages, everything should all still be intact. Okay, so when we're all booted up, we should be able to. Okay, we already see that there's some new features here. Uh, it's telling us about Google Now and telling us about uh, voice search and also about expandable notifications, which is cool. And you also see down here at the bottom we have some new navigation buttons. Now, this is not the last build of Jelly Bean that will be released officially, so that may we may go back to having our regular Droid Razor. Uh, navigation buttons I really hope so because I kind of like those um, so this like I said is not the final build so here we'll go ahead and restore root and we'll go back and check root and we are rooted and then we'll go to our system settings and see what version we're on 4.1.1 so we are now on Jelly Bean and this is the official Motorola build uh, that has been leaked of course if we press the home button we have Google now which further confirms Jelly Bean so anyways guys that is how you install the official over the air Jelly Bean leak on the Motorola Droid Razor HD and I'm pretty sure this one works for the uh, Razer Max HD as well. Uh, so guys, if this has helped you in any way, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel because we're going to cover the Razer HD, both the consumer model and developer model very heavily. So you want to be sure that you uh, are subscribed to this channel. And uh, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the forums.